Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel in the Own the Map Challenge series here on Richlands, Ohio. Uh, it is September, and we finished up uh, bailing that field. It was actually a lot more profitable than I thought it would be. I think we made about $20,000 on that. So, as you can see, we don't have that money in the bank account because, of course, we've already spent it. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, we're growing the farm, we gotta, we gotta grow the farm a bit still, so we gotta spend money, but, yeah, we're just gonna clean up some tractors here, we don't have a lot to do this month, so, really anything to do this month, I looked at some of the contracts and those, uh, weren't anything that we were interested in, so, however, I'm gonna clean these up and then I will show you that new purchase. Pretty excited about it. It's a sweet little tractor. So the plan is, you know, we kind of do a little, a few little jobs here today. Get the uh, chickens fed and tractors cleaned up and kind of put away but then next month we're going to be into our fall harvest already so this year's kind of went by pretty quick so um we gotta plow we gotta chisel plow that back wheat field that we just harvested but we'll probably have steve working on that while or next month while we are doing some harvesting so We'll throw the Alice on the chisel plow. You gotta get the disc out of the way. But, yeah, so let's take a look at that tractor. Got delivered yesterday. <clears throat> like I said, my buddy Tyler, he, uh, it's one of these kind of fixer upper projects that he had, but he, it's a pretty special tractor to him. He put a lot of work into it to make it look really good, so. Yeah, let's take a look at it. So here it is. He's an Alice guy himself. So, we are uh, fortunate he's letting go of this. I think it's going to be a really good fit for our operation right now. Kind of smaller operation, and we can use this in plenty of ways. So, yeah, it's an Alice D21. We got the diamond tread wheels on it. We got some Continentals on the back here. Pretty chunky, chunky tires on it, but yeah, it's gonna do some, it's gonna do some work for us. So let's hop into it. Let's fire it up. Got the push button start there. Got the clutch engaged when we pushed it. Working gear shifter. It's nice. It's a nice tractor. So, yeah, we uh, it cost us about twenty thousand, which is. I don't know. It, we had it. We had the money for it, so. So we even got the the high low uh, thing engaged there. So everything works. Everything moves on this tractor. It's a he put a ton of work into this. It is really nice. So yeah, I'm. Looking forward to using it. Let's hop on cab here and check her out. So we got animations there. Do that. That's pretty slick. Definitely, definitely his best tractor to date, I would say. So the things he's done with this are night and day from the original version so we'll pull her back up into there 
So, yeah, that's our new tractor. It's 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 nice. It's uh it's a nice tractor. So we got decals on the filters. Yeah, she's pretty sweet. She is pretty sweet. So um yeah, just wanted to kinda you know we have a, some free time here, so I just kinda wanted to show you that. I'll get some things put away, and um, I'll see you guys next month when we are ready to harvest. So welcome to October. <clears throat> Just finishing up here, getting our three pallets of tomatoes uh, brought over to the trailer where we are storing them for now. Once, once it hits more winter time, we might have to uh, start bringing them and storing them inside. But for now, this works. We'll probably we'll probably do this for about one more month, and then we'll start storing them inside. So uh, that's going to be it for this job. Got the chickens fed. They don't need to be fed again today. So. We will get the D21 hooked up to the wagons. We have a we need to get an early start today because we got we need our corn off this year first, so we have more of it. So we're gonna start at over at those little fields. I guess I should check if they're even ready. Quick, let's see. They should be. See, okay, these little fields aren't ready, but we can go harvest six. We'll go harvest six. I was gonna say we should put the, um, the plow on the 8,000. Uh, we should go plow up the wheat field, but I think we're gonna just... That can wait. So I think we're just going to... It's kinda nice, this tractor just fits right through here, it's a spot, don't have to run over any crop, but... We're gonna keep the 8,000 series ready to go, because... The plan, I think, is going to be that we... Let's flip on the flashers. The plan is going to be that we put wheat in this cornfield back here, so we need to get it plowed and then disked right away. So, we'll have both of the uh, tractors ready to go, so we'll, we'll plow with the 8000 and then we'll disk it with the uh, case. I think we could probably disk it with the case, I think it has enough horsepower to do it. But we'll just kind of go right back to back, do that. Um, and then we'll keep rolling on harvesting while those guys are in the background doing that. So Steve's got his his uh, brother Barry. He'll be uh, helping him out and plowing up our field. So Steve and Barry, they'll be uh, they'll be doing that. So should be able to pull the wagons right in here. I'll tell you what, Steve, he's a weird guy. Planting cotton up here in uh, in Ohio? Come on, Steve. I don't know who James Hay is, but it's who it says the field owner is, but I'm pretty sure this is Steve's field, so. But, anyway, I guess we gotta walk back to the farm now and uh, get her going. Let's check on this. So it looks like. Our nitrogen value is perfect, our pH value is perfect, our crop rotation is good, 105%. I am running like the crop rotation mod, so... Yeah, so it looks like we had wheat in here previous, which we knew, but before that, the previous owner had sugar beet, which is interesting, so... Uh, but... We have weeds? 
Oh, no weeds. Okay. So, I will uh, see you guys in a second once I get back to the farm. We've got a little bit of a walk here, but we'll, we'll make it happen. So, so we got the uh, six row brought out here. Pump up in the combine. Hold that ladder. And I think we're just going to road it with the six row on. So that is kind of the nice thing because we can just take it right down the road. Because it's just as wide as the combine. So don't have to bring the header trailer down or anything. So Yeah, this should be a good day for... Harvesting doesn't look like there's any weather, bad weather in the uh, forecast, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into this. It's much more, the, se the second year of a game save is, oh, I just say that, and there's, there's rain that pops up in the forecast, but, okay, so we, we are on a bit of a schedule then, so we gotta get, we gotta get going, but, uh, Nice thing, or I like the uh, second year of the game save because it just feels a lot more rewarding because you just, you know, these are your crops that you planted, you put the work in to plant them, and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's. I like the second year more than the first year where you kind of start out and you're given what you're given type of thing. And, yeah. Flip the hazard. I think what we need to do next is get ourselves some bigger wagons. Because with this combine, one load is, a, is nearly a full trailer load. Or both of those trailers. So we have a 12,000 liter, because I still have liters on. I didn't actually get the unit convert reinstalled in this. Uh, save so we have a 12,000 liter capacity now with our hopper extension so that is just about it fills one of the trailers full and then gets the other one about 75 percent so yeah it would be kind of nice to get something bigger where at least I can go two two hoppers full or grain tanks full of uh you know, grain or corn or whatever you're, we're harvesting, and then and then take it up. That's what auto drives for. That's what Steve's for. You know, Steve's always here, always ready to help, and he's just we're keeping her going, keeping him going. He's on the move. So, so definitely though, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the uh, the D21. Are you excited for it? your style of tractor I know everybody's not about the like their open cab tractors but and and I'm usually not I'm more of a you know my favorite era of tractor is like 90s like eight, late 80s 90s definitely into like the early 2000s those tractors those are definitely my you know like the 8000 series John Deere's, your Case Magnums, those kind of tractors. Those are those are my kind of tractors. But I don't know. I feel like uh, this D21 fits to save. We're small. We're starting small. We got. We're gonna be small for a little while now. But that's yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a nice tractor. Though. It's it's. One of the best open station tractors you can get right now. And you guys can't get it yet, but you will be able to get it at some point. Pleasant View, he is... It's amazing the things that he's doing on this tractor. He's updating it every single day. Sends me a copy, and the next day he sends me a new copy because he updated something, added something, animated something. It's just wild, so... He is becoming... A really good modder, and he's putting the time in. And just, yeah, so. 
very grateful to him for sharing this with me. So. But, yeah, we'll uh, definitely be showcasing it because it is slick. It looks nice on those uh, older John Deere barge wagons, too. So. Just getting the old headland going just as usual before we start this, this montage here. So. Probably just going to montage this one because then we'll be doing, what, tomorrow we'll get those other two small fields harvested and then, because we won't get, I prob we probably won't do the bean field today because that won't take very long. It's a pretty small field, but we need to get this field harvested and then we get it and then I'll be busy plowing it and disking it so we don't really have much time to keep recording you know so we'll probably just be montaging this field today might add some uh, might add some uh, footage of some Tillage action in this in the next video. So probably maybe open that video with a montage of some tillage. You know, that could be cool. I don't know. We'll see. Again, I'm always I'm always thinking. You know, always thinking of what <laughs> how I can do it. But it's you never know until you until I'm editing the video. So. I'm just, I'm loving editing montages right now, if you can't tell. I even added one into our time-lapse series on Ashton. So, you know, it's it's just a nice way to get some information to the viewer in a quick, enjoyable, I mean, in my opinion, enjoyable way, you know? So. Anyway, we'll quit rambling. We've been, a, we've been at the ramble for, for too long now, so... Uh, channel's growing like like a weed right now it's, it's wild it's just it's crazy it's it's so cool to see and it's just so motivating too it's just it makes me want to keep going because it's there's nothing more motivating than seeing people enjoying your content subscribing to the channel your, like your channel and stuff like that anybody that's a content creator out there they know what i'm talking about Anyway, uh, about to bust into the, the next row here, so I will uh, catch you guys when we're near the end of the field. The usual, the, the routine, and if you haven't yet, definitely hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it. And, uh, yeah, we, I will uh, again, catch you guys here in a little bit.
guys, that is about it for this field. That took about uh, three hours in game, about, yeah. Almost eight. We started at about 8.30. Finishing. We'll probably finish once we actually finish. It'll be about 11.30, so. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good little crop here. We got probably make about $45,000 or so, maybe closer to fifty by the time this is actually done, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy with it. Um, we might be looking into one thing that would be nice, and so I did, did call Steve up about this. We saw that Steve was planting some cotton for some reason. Just, I don't know what Steve's doing. He's experimenting or something, but Cotton doesn't take uh, doesn't take uh, a silo to be stored in. Cotton is in a bale, so Steve's got those two silos, those two small silos there that you can see just to our just to our left a little bit, right up in front of us at his farm. He might not be using one of those silos, so he uh, said he'll let me know. Uh, he's gonna get start working on his fields and his beans. So if he doesn't uh, doesn't use it, we might be renting it from him to store our beans in, or possibly even the other two corn fields we can we can store it in because corn prices right now at time of harvest definitely are down. They the co-op knows how to market it, so they know that uh, us smaller farmers that don't have bins to store their corn in, they're going to put the price down for us. So they're not going to make as much, but because they're full, they don't need they don't need uh, to pay as much either. So that's how it is for us small guys. We definitely should be looking into investing in a bin here come this next year because that will definitely help our our financial situation out if we can we're losing about three hundred dollars per thousand liters or something like that so it's it's <laughs> it's not something some light light loss there so it's pretty it's a pretty hefty loss on just direct selling it so but that's what we're, that's our situation right now. Maybe we should have uh, thought about that when we were setting up the farm and maybe not spend as much on equipment, maybe a little bit more on our infrastructure, but that is what it is. So. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it. We're about, about done here and, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys for watching as always. And I will see you guys in the next video.